Okay, let's go to the uh, CCIE. I bet uh, all of you already know what CCIE is. That's why you are here. CCIE is the uh, certification program from Cisco system. Position as the uh, expert level. The uh, official information, you can find it in Cisco website. Many have defined uh, what CCI is from their own perspective, including myself. Recently, I wrote about uh, what, what is CCI in my personal blog, and I will not discuss it here. But uh, one thing that I state in that post is every network engineer should be CCIE. Every network engineer should have at least one CCIE. I mean, if you are already in senior position or already in management position, doesn't matter for you to be a CCIE or not. I'm talking about the network engineer in general. If you want to be competitive in this field, then you need at least one CCIE, even for Cisco employees, I would say. So, so until now, from all Cisco certified professional, only 3% are CCIE. So if there are about 20,000 CCIEs right now, they are just 3% from all Cisco certified professional worldwide. There are seven tracks of CCIEs. One track for design uh, is called CCDE, so it's not included. As you can see, there are seven tracks of the ex expert Lower the path to CCA is simple. You just need to pass to exam one is written or Qualification exam, which is computer based exam, and the second is lab exam. Even though each uh, track has lower level certification program, you don't have to pass those. So you don't need to be a CCNA or CNP, be a CAE. What you need to do is just go and do the qualification exam and do the lab. There is a question regarding the total number of active CCI. I can show it to you in the next slide. And by the way, the green is just computer based exam, so we will not discuss it in this session. This picture, I don't remember from where I got it. Let's just give you uh, an idea about the, uh, the, the rec, uh, or the lab exam. You attend CCIE today, most likely you will not see the rack. When I attended, uh, even until 2000, uh, no, when I attended 10 years ago, yeah, in Tokyo, the rack was right behind me. So I was doing my CCIE, and the rack is exactly behind me. I can hear. Uh, the note from the router, which is pretty cool. These days, you won't see uh, the rack. More likely, you will sit in the next uh, in the next room. I don't need access to the rack, and so on. You need to come in your access to the rack. Sometime in a certain location. 
you are actually connected with the lab in different country so basically the lab exam is eight hours exam the lab is available everywhere only select location i will see you in next slide where are those locations and you need 80 percent to pass cie okay if you have any questions uh, feel free to use the chat window i will try to answer it uh, directly And what is difficult for people to pass ECI is because there is no partial score. It's like binary either one or zero. If there is any question, let's say one question and you need to do five different things in one question and the score is three. And even if you meet only one or five, on the required answer then you get zero no partial score this plan to upload location in africa i will show you uh later on uh, 80 percent each second you need to pass 80 percent overall are uh, the questions created in the lab can i expect when you see the question, you will see the point, how many points for the question. So, you know, if you cannot answer the question, how many points you lose. Okay. I will show you a simple question. 